What is up you guys? I'm Raspreet Gill and I'm standing right here with the new world order on automobiles. This is MG ZS EV. It's an electric SUV at that and it surely looks the part. Now this version right here is the actual MG that's being sold overseas in the UK, Europe, everywhere around there. Let's quickly get in and take a look at what this car is all about and check out all that electric power from behind its steering wheel. This is what it really looks like. No engine bay out here. Down a 60% battery for this drive. Gear shift knob, like it's pulled out of a Jaguar. And it's lift off, literally lift off. This remote control feature to give you total control from your cell phone. Taking a look at these headlamps, pretty damn stylish, aren't they? They're supposed to resemble the London Eye Ferris wheel. Encapsulated by DRLs that actually hold in your halogen right there in the middle. They move on to KISS, this started grill out here that houses that MG logo in the middle. And now that's not just an MG logo that's right there. If you actually donk on it this way, so it houses our electric charging point right down there. You get this rubber out, it's all pretty much tucked in. That's how it comes out, it's got a good hole. And that's what it is. Now one more fancy part about this exclusive model that's here with us today is that this MG logo out here actually has a breathing light and the blackish portion behind it. It indicates it's charging and once you're done, it definitely would stop. Now underneath the hood, yes, this is what it really looks like. No engine bay out here, but that right there is our AC-DC motor. And that in the middle is our induction motor right there. As for performance, it makes 142 PS and 353 newton meters of torque. We have a couple of coolants. In case you were thinking you're going to be needing no fluids, yes, you will be needing two coolants at the very least. And that helps the battery as well as the motor to function at an optimum temperature. And you can hear it now, it's pretty much, pretty much quiet, as quiet as it can get actually. But we still do get some kind of insulation on the top of the hood there. Modest garages, spaced out lettering right there on the top and you move down here. Got a little bit of a meshed up honeycombish finish. Slips right down into your skid plate as well right there. Look from the front, yeah, it looks like a stylish, costly looking vehicle, doesn't it? And it totally fits the billing to be in a prime SUV segment in the electric vehicles. As we move on to the side now this way, we've got five spoke, jazzy looking 17 inch alloys that kind of look like a windmill. And we've even got Michelins for the tires. We also have some chrome garnishing along the side mirrors right here. More chrome along the window rails as well, all the way around. As well as your door handles, they're all chromed up. Got a ZS badge there too. Garnish at the bottom there, another indent along the door. Overall, the roof line as well, it's decent. You've got these holders up here as well. A little bit of a shark fin antenna right there on the top. Massive panoramic sunroof, which we will show you once we get in. Making it look sturdy, giving it that SUV look all around. What is this now? We've just got a little bit of a badging on Mods garages, just simply it could be probably even considered as a little bit of a protector around your rear bumper this side. As we flip onto the back end now, massive looking, boxed out, 3D esque is the board, LED brake lamps, although the reverse and turn indicators are not LED. We have internet inside mention out here, it's almost like though it's an Intel computer. As you hope right here, we have our ZS EV badging out there. And of course, there's no real exhaust to check because this right here is totally clean in the back. You get another diffuser S finish down there, but that's about it. As we begin to hop into the boot, flip this open this way, and pretty respectable amount of storage. A couple of big bags should just be slide in. A little bit net on this side, and a bit out there as well. This right here is our charging controller now, as you can see. That's exactly what fits into the car. Pop this open, and like I showed you in the grill, this is what goes in right there. MG will definitely, in fact, help you set up your charging point once you pick up this vehicle. Also, we get a little bit of a rear windscreen wiper right there. Inside, we've got our MG door sill, a powered driver's seat, a leather stitched flat bottom steering wheel with multifunction buttons, an 8 inch infotainment touchscreen, circular AC vents like they're pulled out of a Merc, 
and a stitched synthetic leather dash for an upmarket feel. The pano sunroof floods the cabin with loads of light. We have a circular gear shift knob like it's pulled out of a Jaguar and it's really easy to shift. We're set to drive off with a 60% battery charge level and a range of 162 kilometers. If we do fall short, we can look for charging points and the GPS helps us with the nearest available points right next to us. So you needn't worry about being stranded with a dead battery. And then to feel good about owning an EV, you can even check out how much of CO2 you saved or prevented from letting out into the environment. Just a little spin of that dial down there and you could quickly be moving from reverse to drive. And it's lift off, literally lift off. The way the motor just simply rings in your ears softly, yet it just simply keeps synchronously rising upwards as you floor the pedal. We're moving in the eco mode right now. The throttle response is really light. It's naturally, naturally going to be giving us the best of mileage in terms of that battery right there. Bumps and stuff, yeah, they are felt. But you're sitting high up the road, you get that proper SUV feeling. There's good visibility all around, even along my A-pillar right out here. The rear glass as well is pretty large. Yes, now we're in the normal mode, which is active. Naturally, if you're down in the battery level, you forgot to charge your car, Eco is definitely the way to go ahead with it. But right now, normal, it's pretty much the mode that you'll be using around the city. And yeah, it's pretty zippy. That's what it is. So the turning radius as well is pretty decent. You don't really feel the size of the vehicle, despite it is an SUV. The steering, feedback's all right. And now enough of the normal stuff as we look to dip it into the sport mode, which is definitely going to be eating up our battery. And you floor it down, it just surges like you're on a roller coaster right here. And that's the only time you hear that motor making that little bit of noise, but all those 140 horses, they totally kick and as it corners, like it's gripping the road totally. But yeah, there is that rose noise. You do feel the bumps coming in. Ground clearance though, it's all right. You're not gonna be touching the speed breakers as much as you think because of that battery being below the body. And floor it down this way, it is doing good. You can have some serious fun with this car, it takes off. Braking, yeah, it, it's on point. You needed to brake well especially with all this flying speedability that it has in the sport mode. Now there's also this Kurs mode, which is the kinetic energy regenerative system. It has three different levels that charges the battery every time you take your foot off the accelerator or you lay your foot on the brake. Now charging your battery while you're on the go is pretty cool, right? But this would naturally affect performance, so it's best used while you're in eco. All right, all right, yeah. So you can zip this car around and I'm sure you'd put a Total disappointment on the faces of a lot of the petrol or diesel car owners because of the way this thing can just simply take off the line, it's so zippy. Throws you in the back of your driving seat. But you're on command here really and it's all on demand. Those 353 Newton meters of torque totally kicking in with barely the slightest start of that accelerator pedal, right from zero. So this car is very well priced as well, we're driving the exclusive variant and you're getting good amount of tech. Your entertainment system as well comes in with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Bluetooth, the works, it's got it all. While you're away from the car, there's also this MG iSmart app that houses this remote control feature to give you total control from your cell phone. Take a look at the total kilometers clocked in your car, check out the battery percentage, charge level, the range of kilometers you can cover on that battery level, locate where your car is parked. The stats are all lifetime. You could lock or unlock the car with the touch of that button. You even have access to turn on the air conditioning system of the car. It's got TomTom's navigation and built into it. The car has a single zone climatic control system with an air purifier. My instrument cluster, yes, it's not on the digital end, but it's decent. You've got a color mini MID information display right there in the middle, giving us dedicated tire pressure information. Also showing me the energy flow, that is something from those premium cars, isn't it? Now as for the rear seat comfort, leg room is pretty decent. Now this guy out here, my friend, he's six and a half feet and that's why you can see even he probably has a little bit of his knees touching but the under thigh support is on the lacking end of the department. Overall headroom as well is pretty good. 
The panoramic sunroof drafts all the way right over the back end, making it so, so airy in the cabin. Rear seats, couple at the back is the way to go ahead with it. Three people at the back, maybe good in the city for a little bit of time. Otherwise, it's two for sure. So that was the MG ZS EV, driven now thoroughly. Electric joy completely. That's what this car is. It, it just simply makes you feel like you're in a roller coaster at times. When you float it, it just simply takes you along with such breeze because power starts off right from the barest touch of that damn pedal out there. It keeps you in control. And I gotta say that this really is the future and MG have grasped it with both hands. A car that has so much a connected tech, it can do it all really. You're in command, you wear all those details on your phone while you're in there as well. You're totally, totally married to this car right out here. Now, if you do like the video, do drop a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe, subscribe to the channel. I'm Raspreet Gill, and I'll see you for the next one.